this video, we're going to uh, try to read the same uh, stocks from MarketWatch. Okay, so um, we, uh, let's, let's begin. So I go to the MarketWatch uh, website up here. And uh, let's take a look at the stocks. Let's get. AJ SP, right? Okay, sorry. AJ SP. Put that on. And we have company results for that. We don't have to Let's go to the company. Yeah. Hopefully. And now we've got the profile. Financials. That's what we. I think that's what's so uh, really pretty good cool about this one. We get some very historical quotes we got from uh, yeah. So let's, let's go straight to the financials and start with the numbers. Okay, and as we discussed before, this one only had a four-year uh, trend, but I think that's. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how, how much the uh, other ones have. So this was the financials. Let's go to the balance sheet. And let's go back to the income statement. So it appears that the income statement uh, has nothing. I want to make sure that I mean, this was annual. Just get the handles for now. And, uh, so, I'm do the same thing. I kind of do it very quickly. This was the income statement. And let's go to the balance sheet. Take this. Yeah. 
copy it again. Why didn't I uh, put this on the okay. um, Take everything before. Hopefully I did it carefully. And then you remember what we do. We will hang to one uh, ticker symbol here. And we uh, take the first part and make sure that this is a range name so we don't have to lock it. Here, now we can start to retrieve those three uh, files. Let's review what we we're going to do here. We, what I, I think we did here is we put two here for the uh, 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 two for the income statement three for the balance sheet four. So what we can do is go, it's kind of a loop. We can go through this loop, and then once we're in this loop, we can go through another loop. So what we really only have to do is, when we read one company, uh, let's uh, change this. So, uh, where we started with our base book, go to our URL name, and then we put it back in the template, and now when we read the stock prices, we read from ticker 1 to the total ticker, but, and then we'll put the code number here, and now we'll make another folder for URL code. Now that could increase to, uh, to more than five. And we will uh, go to next. You are a code. Okay. And, uh, now what we have to do is just like this. This, this thing we didn't, I didn't name. I'm going to name this. You are a code. And uh, remember if we press, oops, press control F3, press control F2, control F3. Oh my gosh, screw it up. I'm kidding. Turn it by myself. Press F2, so that gives us a. And so we need to uh, under uh, this one, we're going to put a uh, range uh, code. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you capitalize it or not, equals the code. So this one. Should this time instead of reading just one stock price, it should be reading all the stock prices and all that. And so that really wasn't so difficult to do, was it? So the first thing we'll do is remember the first thing to do is save the file. Whenever I want to press clear sheets and I will save the file. should have gone really fast, I thought. I'm not sure it's shocking to you, but I had an error. This uh, thing that was the application calculation. We, we set it to, uh, we remembered what it was. We set it to manual, and then we reset it. I had reset it in the loop. It has to be outside the loop. And then I get the four sheets and all that kind of thing. So once again, and now let's read all the stocks. So of course, what I'm going to do now is um, switch it on, and it should take, this This will take a little while. And it sometimes, you know, might be good, especially when you're doing this for the first time, to actually show, the, show what's going on. 
I didn't. You can see it's going to each stock, so I'm going to switch it off and see what happens. I'll be back to you. Oh, there, there it is. Something. Okay. And so let's just uh, pause it. Uh, now I did a couple of things wrong. Right. Okay. Uh, first, uh, we don't, the problem is we don't want to always read to, uh, to the uh, stop. We don't want to always call the sheet name stop price. Depending on whether it's one, two, three, or four, we, we want to do this. So what we can do is we can over here put call instead of just. Uh, I, mean, I think we have to do that. I'm not even sure. And then we we'll put URL code like that. Okay. And then so we're telling it which, and then this should be URL code. It could be a different name, so I suppose it's not really necessary. And then why don't we have a select case? Switch it off, and I'll switch it on and off in a minute. Let's see what happens. 